the Design Challenge 2013 is all about bringing students together to take on a challenge of something that will push them beyond their their aspirations beyond their dreams and maybe even to realize those. In this case it was a robotics competition around the theme of Star Wars where the Death Star had to be defeated uh, by, by opposing forces where they wanted to come in and, and in, in just two minutes be able to take down a Death Star in an autonomous, difficult, uh, start with a bag of stuff and do it. The students worked over a week from taking a very basic concept that was drawn on a piece of paper all the way to execution. Uh, they learned what many students would learn, these are freshmen, which many students would learn maybe between their freshman and senior year, but in some cases I saw design principles being used that you'd expect for a designer that was out 10 years. Why I entered this competition in the first place is because I was interested in EPD, which is uh, engineering and product development, the electronics part. So I think robotics gives me a chance to learn more about it. But one challenge is that our group, I have not taken part in a robotics challenge before. So um, we came here with no, uh, actually three of the group members came here with no prior experience. But we, had, we were very lucky because we had one team member that was that knew programming and then he had been uh, in robotics competitions before. So basically he, let, he, guide, he guided us along the way and tried as much as possible to help him. My robot is, is cool because uh, it's using vacuum to suck, suck up the ping pong balls. So unlike other robots where they use mechanical systems to bring the ping pong balls up. So um, we think that it's really awesome because we managed to use the idea of computer fans that you have in your daily uh, usage in school classrooms to actually create a vacuum within a box. What I learned is that although you can come up with many different designs, but every design has its own flaw and eventually you have to tackle its weakness in, in order to make it work successfully. So for our design itself, right, we actually have a tube here to control the ping pong balls and allow it to pick up balls and transfer it up. So the main problem we face is when the arm is moving within the tube, there's a lot of friction. So to ensure that it can move smoothly, we have to we have to make sure that the position of the arm, the length and the radius is all very precise. And this takes a lot of time, so we have to actually go through laser cutting and do a lot of measurements to make sure that it works perfectly. It's surprising how things can take a turn from the prelim preliminary rounds all the way to the knockout stages and how we actually improved uh, as uh, the stages went on and we actually did our best to bring out what our robots could do for us. I'll be enrolling in the next April and uh, this is a great opportunity uh, to, that I have to actually be able to take part in this competition. Hi, I'm Chua Hao from Team R2D2. So basically, this is our my team's design. So what my team actually came out with was a uh, two robot system design. One's a stationary one, and uh, one's a uh, controlled by the RC. So basically, for our stationary design, we decided to use uh, six scoops. So we actually learn um, some foam vacuum vacuum foam technology. So we actually make use of this technology to actually create our scoops. So then, uh, some interesting parts during this design challenge was we had to go through a lot of obstacles. So we actually started with the fan design, which we wanted to create a vacuum. But uh, after true testing and all, we actually discovered it. Uh, there was more to it. It was so much fun because uh, I actually came here to just have fun. But uh, through the days and all, I actually learned a lot more. Which uh, I learned teamwork. I learned uh, a lot from my friends how to work with my teammates and all. 